You've got a folder full of files that you want to combine, but each file has a few extra rows at the top, and the number of these extra rows isn't the same in each file. So how can you get rid of those rows automatically? First open a new workbook, go to the data tab, choose get data, then from file and finally from folder. Now find a folder with all your files, select it and click open. When the new window opens, choose combine and then combine and transform data. In the next window, select the sheet you want to pull from each file and press OK. So here is our combined data, but as you can see, we still have all those unwanted rows cluttering the top and the headers are totally out of place. To start cleaning this up, let's look at the Queries pane on the left. If you don't see it, expand it by clicking the arrow icon. Now we have a query called transform sample file. This is like a template or function that Power Query will apply to each file. Right now it's showing us a preview of the first file in the folder. Let's get rid of those extra arrows. Go to the Home tab and select Remove arrows, then Remove top arrows. Since we don't need the first four rows here, enter 4 and click OK. Now we can click Use first row as headers to properly set up the headers. Let's head back to the main query named Sales to see if everything is working. Hmm. Looks like only the first file is displaying correctly, the other files are still off. The problem is that we've used a fixed hard-coded number 4 to remove the rows and it doesn't adapt to other files. To make it flexible, we'll need a more dynamic approach. This is where the list position of function comes in handy. It helps us automatically find the row with the actual header in each file. The function's first argument is any column from the previous step. And the second argument is the header name we are looking for. After making this adjustment, it might not look like much has changed at first, but let's go back to the main sales query to check. And it works just as planned. Now every file in our folder has the extra rows removed and the headers set perfectly without having to adjust each one manually. So that's it. A small formula tweak, but it makes a huge difference when you are working with lots of files. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.